what is the difference between Tinubu and the uh, Imifile? Because Tinubu does not want to talk about a uh, Buhari's government. He believes that uh, Imifile under Imifile, as if Imifile was the president. He said under Imifile that Nigerians got poorer and poorer and poorer. That a lot of people lived a miserable life because of a uh, Imifile say uh, poor policies and bad policies. So, uh, Nigerians, just too much. You know, Tinubu could not even do, you know, welcome party for Nigerians. At least, maybe two to three, six months before Nigeria will start seeing something different. But the very day he came to power, that was the day he started inflicting poverty and, and, and suffering in the lives of the people. So, what is the difference between him? Because everybody was crying. The... Naira crunch that people were talking about, and these policies that he has brought in, uh, put in place that is affecting Nigerians. For somebody who is experienced, all of this is supposed to be gradual. It's supposed to be gradual. You went to go and remove a first subsidy without a, any solution on ground because you feel like talking. So, what is the difference between you and Emefele? Because from your own uh, assertion, it seems that uh, Emefele was the president as at that time, as if it was Emefele, Nigerians voted for. Nigerians did not vote for Emefele. Nigerians voted for Buhari. You can argue is whether he was voted for or not. But he was the president because they always talk about uh, the president that was uh, democratically elected. So the question is that now that you feel that Emefele was the president that Nigerians suffered, under Imefele, he went to the he went to Paris. Tinubu went to Paris and started telling them all these uh, stories. So the question now is that are Nigerians better off? Because as far as we know, Tinubu does not know what he's doing. If Tinubu knows what he's doing, he will not review anything because he ought to have known that whatever money, even if you are going to be giving people one hundred thousand, it's not going to solve the problem. If you are going to give two people 200,000, how many people are you going to be giving? For how long? They are not telling us that, oh, for the next or for the period of six months after giving this money, that the economy will bounce back. Everybody will have a, their footing. Everybody will be able to, everybody will be placed right. They are not telling us that. They are not telling us that. They just say after six months. Then what happens after six months? And how many people will be able to get this money? Even if it is 200,000, if you are even going to increase it to 500,000 or 200,000 or 100,000, as the case may be, somebody was suggesting 75,000, it is going to make matter worse because inflation will still go up. Inflation will still go up. It's just so ridiculous. Inflation will still go up. And how many people will be beneficiaries of this money? It is still going to be the same problem. The same problem. The question is that why are they bent on sharing money? Some of their APC members, they know the truth. You know, they just want to stand because maybe those ones are not going to be gaining anything. That is why they are speaking up. But in the recent, we know that all this one, now scam. Now scam, oh, big time scam. They want to transfer money to who? The poorest of the poor. If you are talking about the poorest of the poor, 90% of them don't even have a bank account. So who are you going to be transferring transferring money to? The hardship Nigerians are going through now is it not worse than uh, the one uh, Tinubu is accusing Emefele of? We should do the right thing. We should do the right thing. Ah, Tinubu for Nigerians hand. He four people hand. No be small. Tinubu four people hand. Tinubu four people hands. Honestly speaking. You four people hands. Thinking that he knows what he's doing. Honestly, is he gonna be of course some people say stop blaming if we stop blaming Tinubu. He said it. And some people are like, oh, he was just doing that just to deceive uh, Buhari so that it will be as if uh, he likes Buhari because they believe that uh, Buhari had an agenda and he was unable to fulfill that agenda. So by Buhari or Tinumbu saying that it's going to continue from where the Buhari stops, that is going to help him to tell all these amateurs to vote for him. 
that uh, no, he's not gonna do that. That he was that is a smart person. He's a smart this. Is Tinubu's not smart, as we we can see. If he can go back and review the eight thousand naira, which he knew he ought to have known from the beginning that it was not going to be a good thing. So you want to tell us a strategy that he knew that Nigerians might not want to accept that eight thousand naira, then he will not go back and people start praising him. Oh, he is a is a president that listens to people. He is a president that listens to the cry of the masses. For we, for him to have gone back again is an indictment on him that he didn't even know and he still does not even know. The solution of Nigeria. He just wants to bear that name. The president just wants to bear that name. I'm the president. I'm the president. And that's all. There's nothing more, nothing less. So who is now more wicked between him and a Mefele that they are holding back? Who? And some people come and tell us that ah, Mefele should do this. Mefele should make us to suffer. Now they are suffering under that board. That in Ubu, but they will tell you, eh, it's just for a, a, a little while, eh. If we don't suffer now, eh, we are just postponing postponing the evil day. That is their excuse now. Postponing the evil day. And they know that nothing is going to change. But because they want to save their faces. I mean those who are their supporters who, who are trekking up and down. Mm. If people they even they trek several, at least it's better. You don't be because you, you chop finish here, you have strength. To be trekking because of this first subsidy, you'll be trekking, but you can't manage your hunger. Nobody can manage hunger. Hunger, not your meat. So, guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.